In this video, I'll show you how to add sound to your Arduino projects using a buzzer. We're actually going to cover two different types of buzzers in this video, active and passive buzzers. These buzzers can look nearly identical, but their operation is a little different. Let's talk about the active buzzer first. All you need to do to use an active buzzer is connect it to a DC power supply like the 5 volts from your Arduino. You'll see that the buzzer has two pins, so I'm going to put it into the breadboard, connect one jumper wire to 5 volts, one jumper wire to ground, and then the buzzer will produce a pretty loud tone at a constant frequency. These buzzers have polarity, meaning one pin is positive and one pin is negative, as indicated by the plus sign on one side. So if I flip the buzzer around and connect it to 5 volts, it does not produce any sound. Technically, you don't need any code at all to use one of these active buzzers. You could just wire a button in series between the power supply and the buzzer to control it. However, if you want to control the buzzer with an Arduino pin, you can do so the same way you would control an LED, which we cover early in our Arduino tutorial series that you can find linked in the description of this video. You just need to use the pin mode command to set the pin as an output, and then the digital write command to turn the pin on and off. In this demonstration, I'm controlling that output pin with a button which is set as an input, so when I press the button, it turns the buzzer on. Passive buzzers can be a little more interesting than active buzzers because they can play tones at different frequencies using the Arduino tone command. To do that, I don't need to change my circuit at all other than swapping out the active buzzer for the passive buzzer, which again is connected between Arduino ground and one of the digital pins. However, I have uploaded a different program that will cycle through different tones using the Arduino tone command after I press this button. We see that unlike the active buzzer, the passive buzzer does not have polarity, so I can swap it around or switch its two pins and it will still work. As you can see on the official Arduino documentation page, the Arduino tone command accepts a pin number and a frequency in hertz. You can also set a duration for the tone. If you do not set a duration, then the tone will continue to play until you call a different frequency or use the no tone command. You can also only call one tone at a time. So if you're trying to use multiple buzzers, you can only make one of them make sound at a time using the tone command. Now, just out of curiosity, I tried using the tone command with the active buzzer just to see what it would sound like, but the results are not pretty. So, if you want to play variable frequency tones for your project, you're better off with a passive buzzer. If you just need a loud buzzing sound and don't care about the exact frequency, then an active buzzer is fine. So, in this video, we've covered the difference between active and passive buzzers and how to use them with an Arduino. For many other Arduino tutorials and cool science projects you can do with an Arduino, check out the links in the video description and our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.